Welcome back, fellow scrubs. And I'm here myself, so let me change my feedback channel here. Okay, good. <laughs> so, uh, I'm back. I'm Mark D. Wiz. We're here with Pocket Fighter EX. And if you hear dog noises in the background, I got a dog, so you might hear dog noises in the background. And let's just get right into it. I've got a lot of Ken stuff. Oh, yeah, and this project is in no way endorsed, uh, backed, or whatever by Cat Palmer SMK. Just making that abundantly super clear. So, let me get that out of the way. Alright, so you may have seen on Twitter or Discord or, or wherever. This is her. A roadmap to release. Yeah, Wolf. She's winding now because she wants to go back on the porch. But I ain't got time for that. It's time to develop. So you probably hear whimpering in the background. She just wants to bark at chickens. And uh, other dogs and other people. And that's, that's how the day goes. So, alright. Uh, let's see. Yes, Ken. So you may have seen this image. It's kind of a nice little visual repre representation of the current completeness of the characters. After I put in Terry's moves. So everybody's got all their moves. But now I'm going back through and I'm, I'm updating the hitboxes like you've seen. Um, up to oh, what do you want? Where are you? Come here. Come here. Where do you want this from? Yeah, hello. What do you want? She wants to go out and... Yeah, wolf. <laughs> you heard the... She wants to go out and yell at chickens. Um, so this is after... <laughs> I want a big spicy meatball. I know. Oh, hello. I know. She's trying to get up in my lap. There's no room for you right now. I gotta have the keyboard out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um... So after everybody's moves been in, I went back to redoing hitboxes, redoing animations, um, tweaking stuff, making sure stuff works right, not broken, etc., etc. That's what this represents. So, hey, super, super anime turbo <laughs> dog cam or riot. I actually don't have a webcam, believe it or not. I used to have one, but it broke, so there's no way to get a dog cam. Which kind of sucks because I made a little bed for her and she sits in it right next to the desk here. I actually could set one up if I had one, but alas, it's broken. Um, it's been broken for a long time. It was a really shitty one. So Ken's about halfway complete. He's probably more like 55% complete at this point, maybe actually a little more. Uh, and you'll see that, what I've done since last time. And then Terry, I, I barely scratched as far as refining, but a lot of his, his hitboxes were better than... The old ones were Ken and Ryu by default, so I don't expect him to take as much time, perhaps. Um, so that's what this is all about. And so just to show exactly what's going on here. Um, okay. My controller. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, you might notice shadows on the characters first and foremost. I'm experimenting with shadows. So, um, they shrink when people jump, and um, that's pretty much it. They follow the character. They're a little goofy, so like, uh, like, like the shadow doesn't really follow the animations 100%. Car when? You mean like beating up the car? Um, they sh they follow the character's position. So like when Ken's bottom back and forth, you don't see it move. Uh, so I do have some work to do on that. For now, it, it is what it is. And, uh, so Ken's got, got new stuff here. Um, he's got a knee hit on the EX Tatsu. So if you're far away, that won't hit. You'll just get the normal, what it used to be. If you're close enough, you'll get the knee hit along with it. And that allows you to do, um, some links that were not possible before. So, let's see. Like that. I do not believe you could do that before. I think it was too slow. I want to laugh at the shadow interlacing with the beat up car. Or, in, or interacting with the beat up car. What beat up car? Now, now I'm, I'm, I don't even know what you're talking about. Now, let's see. 
trying to do this on keyboard, it's a little easier, believe it or not. There. So you can do that, um, it is still a heart knocker. So notice that Ryu gets up only on one timing and he can't roll as opposed to this, where he can roll out. The one you need to add, because it's Street Fighter. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, it's not in there yet. Um, actually, the, the shadows are in their own layer, and they're not um, they're not really special. They're actually just colored specifically per stage, and I'll show, show you on a different stage. But they're not actually automatic. What are you whining about? I keep hearing her whine in the background. I assume it's coming through the mic. Yeah, wolf. Let's go out and yell at chickens. I right, see so it's like it's dark blue here. So I just picked an appropriate color per stage. And, uh... No, you didn't hear it. You need to play with her for the prior eight hours. Yeah, I know. So say here they're appropriate color for the background. So that's how I handled it, um, pretty much like Alpha 2 handles it, they just pick a color that's appropriate for the ground in that stage, and um, that's what they go for. And I think that's the way to go, I tried flickering ones, they just didn't look right, they were too distracting to be completely honest. They drew way too much attention to themselves. Um, give Wolf the controller. Yeah, here, here, come play on stick. Start hitting the buttons. Maybe it's just like Benny, right? And Benny hit the buttons. Well, I'll have this one hit the buttons. There, yeah, there could be different ground colors, and then we'll just have to pick something that that works works best for what it is. And that's it. Um, just kind of is what it is. But uh, transparency, I'm not doing because it's you know like a really retro style. I don't think it fits. That's why everything you see is flickered. If it if it looks transparent, it's just flickering, or it's checkerboarded, like the back dash here is checkerboarded. You'll probably see that, okay? Actually, you can't see. Um, he doesn't have any super attacks enabled, but on Ryu, you can definitely see it. Yeah, we'll go to a different stage, just show them all off. So you'll see it here. Like that. So that's all checkerboarded. I think it's actually checkerboarded, solid, checkerboarded in the opposite way, and then solid again. I did a lot of, a lot of experimenting to see what worked best for some of these. Nope, oh, uh, that dropped it. Ah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, we're, we're focusing on Ken, so I'll show you the new Ken stuff. Actually, there's a lot of new Ken stuff, I think, since last time. Uh, yeah, we'll go here. Okay, so Ken got... Obviously, he's got his crazy kicks, which I don't know how much I showed off um, the last time, but he can... You can target combo them together. Those two ones, so you gotta start with this one, and then you can go into this one, or this one. And any one of these can go into Inazuma, just like Super Turbo. So you've got some options here. So where it gets interesting is Power Max mode. They've all got fire on them now, to let you know that they're the thing that's different in Power Max mode. And, um... They all hit with the fire. Yes, there's a shadow there because of... There would be a shadow, I guess. It looked a little weird without it, I'll be honest. So I, I just kind of added it in. Uh, 
so one major difference here, uh, that crazy kick pushes a little farther in uh, power max mode, and of course it's fire, get a little, little fire explosion. So that's something new there. The uh, the big difference here. Hello. Hi. What are you doing? You done whining? And you come to you come to bug me on stream, huh? Hello. What are you doing? Yeah, hello. Yeah. Just trying to hop up on the chair. Really need a dog cam <laughs> with this many interruptions. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, so big difference here is, so check that out. Normally they can block it, but in here it actually connects just like Super Turbo does, but only in this mode. Yes, there are black pixels and, and that's what the original stage actually had as far as I'm aware. Right, so I have to remove those. This, this stage is not included in the main builds, it's still work in progress. So, uh, so you get, you get cool stuff like that. Uh, you know, this actually also makes me think of Ken's Street Fighter Alpha stage. You're probably thinking of Alpha 3, because it's got the waterfall. Yeah, I don't know, unless I goofed. Or unless the person who ripped it goofed. We can check it in a minute. But, you know, you can obviously remove it if you want, if you want to help that one out. Yeah, it's Alpha 3 one, he's got like the poolside thing. And it's all like, it's a hotel or something, right? Uh, uh, anyway, point is here, this also is safe on block. Where normally, um, it is not. But she might, yeah, he might not actually be hitting them anyway. Um, can I get him to? No. He's not going to be able to reach like that. But he can reach. If he, if the attack were to have enough range to hit, it would hit. Um, but in here, you can probably see it, to be completely honest. Um, oh wait, hold on. He wasn't, he wasn't blocking, was he? Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, I'm sorry. He wasn't blocking. I don't know what the hell is that Yeah, so on block, it's, it's unsafe, obviously. Can't do anything. Getting getting nailed. Uh, but here, it is. Safe on block. So, it makes these also safe, since they now are true block strings. See? It's a perfect cover to get out of to get some shenanigans off. Look at that. Ked pressure shenanigans. Ain't it lovely? Uh and defense max. Um Defense Max has this move is the armored one. Um oh hold on, can't make it this thing. So uh he jumped out of it of course, but yeah. By the time it comes out, he's already in the air. So it's not hitting him, but... You know, we probably could get him... No? Oh, you know why? Because his upper body's invincible. He would not get hit by that. And by the time he's in the air, it's not going to hit him. Hey, hey! What's up? Yeah, so actually, it's no good for sure use. Oh, there we go! Finally tagged him. Must have had to bend the right frame there. That's funny. Might actually be better if uh, he's not dirty. You're just gonna whine all night, aren't you? Anybody who showed up, I got a dog. It wants to, wants to go yell at chickens. So it's sitting there whining at the door. Well, yeah, it does. It does. It does avoid the sure you. I mean, it takes the damage, but um, yeah, you could argue that it does avoid the sure you at least at all. Yeah, 
Yeah, so you do have a chance for it, although it's not optimal. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, so that's that's the rundown. It basically changes the safety properties of these kicks and whether or not the, the follow-up will connect automatically. So it was it was kind of my way to preserve some of the functionality that Super Turbo had for um, for those kicks without making the game just completely broken as a result. Because I think Ken would be a little too broken if all of his stuff was like crazy safe like this. And you know, obviously, just being able to just hold the button and get the hell out of it, it's like, come on, man. <laughs> like, really? I think that'd be a little too much. Uh, oh, that didn't work out too well. Actually, the optimal finisher for this is this. Yeah, so if you weren't here last time, we do have a Street Fighter V Tatsu now. So I've adjusted more of the animation. Um, so it's pretty good now. I think it might need tweaking on the frames itself. But as far as the movement is concerned, I think it's pretty reasonable. Feels like you should be able to OTG Super after that? What do you mean? After what? Like this? <laughs> it's just the way his frames are, they're just not they're not gonna hit. It's so funny. The air comboing? Air comboing. What air comboing did I do? I don't even remember. What? What? There's the doggo. Tatsu. Oh, would I would I do something like that? What? Probably sees the other dog next door. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come here. What are you doing? Come here, stop barking. Come here. Come here. I don't know. It's just running around the house now. Oh, come on. You're blowing the mic out, dog. Alright, alright. I'm sorry, it's just it's just gonna be dog on the mic. I, I, there's no chance in hell that you're not hearing it. <laughs> it's loud. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, wolf. Okay, so the other new move, or well, not new move, but the one I, I fixed up is Tatsumaki EX from the air. And so there's a couple things you can do. You can jump cancel on hit. And if you're quick enough, you can do shenanigans. So if you're close enough, um, I should probably can do it this way. You can do shit like that. Um, in the air, it just spikes them down. But if they're on the ground? Are you growling? What are you growling at? What are you growling at? There's nothing out there. I think he's growling at chickens. I really think he's growling at chickens. Anyway. Um, yeah, probably too late to get that one. I don't think you can get that one. Um, so depending on your timing, you can get some cool shenanigans. Yeah, I don't think I have enough time for that. Gotta be really on point, though. And the angle that you hit them at will also determine what you, how much time you have to follow something up with. The new Tatsu looks like it should have some more functionality. 
It's not meant to do that, though. It's meant to be a Hadoken uh, get around her. So, actually, let me let me set him to Hadoken. I'll show you exactly what it's for. Stop whining because you can't bark and chase chickens. I don't know if you can hear him, he's whining. What? Uh, I don't get H. Too heavy. Alright, let's see. Right one? Yeah, okay. So, this is what this is for. It's supposed to get around how to open this. EX is this one. Which also has some projectile um, invulnerability on the bottom, but it's not absolute, so if you do it late, you might get hit with it. Yeah, if you do it late, you get hit. So you've got to do it early. But it's also high damage uh, if you get all the hits in. So that's it's your optimal ender for the crazy kicks. Uh, so we'll do a damage comparison. And it goes just like that. So that's what? 298? 272. And it's pretty much it. I mean, you can you can do a hot oak and ender, but it's obviously not um, not as good. What? What? Stop whining! Just because you can't chase chickens. Ugh. Damn it! This... I don't ever use this one, so I'm like, I'm messing up here. Hold on. <laughs> Screw it. Okay, that's sure you. Don't hold forward. There we go. Okay, so that's what 292. Versus 322 versus 346. Hello, let's see. Grimbone? Grimbone. Grimbone? Grimbone. Thank you for the ball. Don't mind the dog. He just wants to chase chickens. Uh, so crazy kicks. You can uh, you can get more with them. If you cancel would sure you can. And then you can use more, depending on how uh, how close you get. So the trick here with the canceling for this, this gives you a, a special cancel. If you if you end a target combo with this, if you do it with this, you don't get that. But that's because they get knocked away. So there's not much you can do anyway. I mean, you could you could do something like that but you're not going to get too much or if you're in the corner oh wait hold on <laughs> that's the wrong one okay right, let me max cancel this time obviously you can do stuff here uh in fact actually you can It's tough, but you can... Yeah, you can do that. And that's perfect because it's a hard knockdown. So, if you can end with this, you push him into the corner a little bit, and then you get, you know, a more predictable wake-up. So you can get a couple things. Uh... And... Let's there you go. You can get that. You can you can get it with this, but it's a lot tougher. Um, so here's the trick when when concerning the target combo. Um, if the knee hits, you're most likely going to be able to get the the uh, special cancel one. But if the knee doesn't hit, um, you're not going to get it. It's going to whiff. 
so it's a, a decent indicator. There are some edge cases where you can get, like that one, if you're close enough by a little bit you can get it. But for the most part, um, this, you're never gonna, you're never gonna get that second one with a stand HP. You can get this one, but it's not as rewarding, of course. So that's kind of how I balance that out a little bit. Uh, if you do a crouching heavy punch, you're most likely going to get that. So, um, uh, say if you can get it there. What? Stop whining. What? Come here. Come here. Come here. I don't know if she won't even come over. So I'm upset because I won't let her out and chase chickens. Please, if you do reuse Ryo Sakazaki to this game, make a badass version, like Ryo's version in Fatal Fury Wild Ambition or Fatal Fury Special. I'll have to look into that. I'm not, I'm not an expert at Ryo. Uh, I don't know too much about him other than his uh, versions in KOF. So I'll check that out. And I had thought about that too. I'm like, he, he does kind of seem like he needs a little something to spice him up. Especially like a, with a fireball that doesn't go across the screen, you know? Like he's got to have something else. That's the best of the best versions. All right, I'm, I'll remember that. I'll, I'll check those ones out. Ah, it didn't work out. Ah, too slow. Mmm, too slow, come on. Oh, too early. <laughs> oh, didn't jump in the right direction, I think. This one's hard. Mmm, I'm not getting it right. You gotta hit it as soon as you land. Or it's not going to come out in time. <laughs> I'm not... I, I did it before, now I can't do it again. That's great. Alright, well, whatever. <laughs> you saw me do it before. Yeah, I guess you could do that, too. There's a lot you can do. Oh, if you don't jump cancel, you do get... Um, a small follow-up, if you're close enough. But it only goes so far. Will Kevin have the combo in Street Fighter V medium punch, strong punch? No. He does have that, but that's pretty much it. I focus mostly on replacing that kind of functionality with those uh, crazy kicks instead. Because people basically use it as a confirm, um, and this does basically the same thing in that regard. Because you get the special cancel out of it at the end anyway. Yeah, no problem. So I, I thought about it, but I'm like, eh, I don't know. He's got the, the crazy kicks, and they kind of do the same thing, so... It's kind of a wasted move in that regard. Ah, I can't get that follow-up, but... I guess saw it in the beginning. You know it's there. Oh well. There we go! Yo! <laughs> that shit's fun. I'm not gonna lie, that shit's fun. Uh, I think it does more damage than... Um, I think it does more damage than doing two crazy kicks, too. Yeah, it does a lot more damage. Um, mainly because you can't get... Well, let me do it with an EX. So, yeah, you get almost a hundred more. Because you get that extra hit in there. What? Shit, missed the EX. 
<laughs> Bring out the inner Max. It happens. <laughs> it happens from some time. From time to time, it happens. What? Stop growling at the chickens. Oh my god. Amber needs to get home and just take the dog out. It's whining. Just wants to bark at people and the chickens and all that shit. Okay, so that's 423. Wow, you get a lot more from getting that extra hit in. Feels like. Oh man, it's so hard to time though. But anyway, you get the idea. So, um, again, in the air now, it it used to juggle, but that causes problems and near infinites. So, um, I changed it. So it'll only juggle on the ground. So, again, here it'll just spike. Because you can... You can, you can totally do that. Over and over and over. Um, so I fixed that by basically that. And you also were able to do some other shenanigans. You know, like continuing crazy shit like that. Um, but it, it did create, like, a lot of, like, really dumb-looking loops in the corner. Because you could do this... And then, like, one of these, and then, then another immediate, like, instant jump one of these, and then repeat and repeat, and it looks stupid, so. Um, it was definitely not the intended functionality, so I got rid of that. Oh, I'm surprised that didn't hit. I guess I didn't cancel it quick enough. There we go. And again, this is to get over Hadoukens, and that's pretty much where I am at this point. It took a lot to tweak, to tweak out this stuff. Um, I think you can also... Yeah, you can get that too, if you want to. Let's see. I don't know if I made this juggle any attack. I did, okay. So in the corner you should be able to, yeah, get something like that. I might change that in the future, but I don't know. It's kind of cool. Because um, then you can get stuff like that. If you really want to, if you want to go for like an extra mix-up. But I honestly, if you can get this, uh, if you can get this move out, there's no reason not to. Because uh, you're just going to carry him right to the freaking corner. Oh man, it wears on your thumbs real quick though. Uh, let's see. Do you already have the cast for the game? Can you share it with us? Um, oh yeah, okay. So Light Soul um, answered the question. Correct. That's 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 the first set of characters we got, and if that goes well, then we'll see about doing more. Have you tried new thumbs? I'm gonna fucking need them, man. I'm gonna need them after this. I was testing this shit all day. Oh man, it was burning. I was burning my thumbs because I had to keep doing this friggin' combo. Because there was an edge case with this combo that I had to fix. And I had to keep doing it. That's why I can do it now. Because <laughs> I've been practicing it all day. <laughs> it's fun though. Um, it is fun. Ken's like turned out to be a lot of fun. And that's good because Ken needs to be fun. He needs to be wild and crazy, and I, I think he's really getting there. So the next thing to do with him is to add back the supers, which are going to need a lot of heavy reworking. Um, Super Jinrai should be pretty straightforward, but everything else is not going to be fun. Um, there's like actual mechanical changes I need to make in order to make them work correctly. 
Um, so with that, I was thinking, because that might be a little uh, involved and we might not get through it, I was thinking we could work on one of the new stages. And let's see, where is, I don't have it open. Amber. She's late. I told her to come up here and get the dog. If I didn't even listen to her messages. Okay, we've got... Uh, where is it now? It's Bright Toast stage. The new one. Oh, American Train, I called it. So this is the daytime one. Oh yeah, we got all these other elements and shit in here. Oh god. All right. Um, Photoshop. We need Photoshop. <laughs> what stage? Yeah. Oh yeah. I know because you submitted it a little while ago. Uh, I figure because I'm for the most part I'm focusing on getting just the characters out the damn door, but um, we can afford to have a little fun on the stream. So I figure we could do that instead of. Just working on frame data. Um, let's see. And is it this one? Yeah, here we go. All right. That is gonna be a pain in the ass. Let's see. <laughs> you can do that too. All right. You want you want to find out if it's in the original rip or not? All right. Uh. I gotta go to raw resources stages and here all right there you go it's in the rip that i got there's your black pixels so i'll remove them later uh okay so if you submit this as a psd so there's that okay let's see how is this divided up Oh god, everything's all a separate thing. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm probably gonna just merge a few of these layers together. Um, let's save a copy of this before I screw it up. Say new stage temp. Okay, we want that, we want that. Oh, yeah, that's that one. That. 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 And that. Okay, strip that as four. You can object to whatever you want, Tim. <laughs> uh, have you stepped through the FGBG drive? Hello. She's finally sitting on her little little side. I set up a little bed next to the computer here. Good girl. Good girl. Stop whining and barking. Uh, okay, so that's the left car, that's the right car. The fence is its own thing. Um, trees. Okay, and then there's. Oh, a light reflection. Interesting. Make it blink. Oh, okay, I like the note here. Good. And background? Background doesn't do anything. Background with water, so I don't know, I guess this is something else. Oh, 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 okay, it's this, up on top. Okay, but you have it as one layer here. Okay, 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 understood. Okay, the sun's on the background. All right, that, that's easy enough. Okay, and then these are the sprites up on top, that sprites. Sunset that strikes. Tree, sunset tree. And the water. Oh boy. Um, okay, that should be easy enough. 
All right, I gotta start chopping a few of these up. That is, this is all one thing, right? Okay. Uh, cut it like that. Can I just copy paste it into a new thing? Right? No? How come I can't, I can't make a new thing here? Is it? Or is it control shift end? Oh, it's control shift end. No, that's a new layer. Control, oh, control N. Yeah, there we go. There's a new document. Okay, create that. Sorry, Photoshop noob. Um, Alright, that's not what I wanted. I wanted it to be outside a little bit here. I want a little bit of an outside. Okay, that's about one pixel on all sides. I remember my shortcuts here. Yeah, alright, that looks right. Save as a ping. Where's ping? Train ocean. Okay. This is gonna be this is gonna look real fucking cool with the parallax thing. It's gonna look crazy. I can already tell. All right, we'll close that. Um, all right, we need, we need these things. So apparently it doesn't matter. Could not, oh, I'm sorry. Mine the wrong. Uh, B. No. All right, hold on. There we go, okay. Now select, copy. New paste. Go to the background. Um, I hate that it didn't respect the border here, but whatever. Just pop it out. Okay, train, night, fence. Close it up. All right, and we need you know let's do let's do the sunset here. All right, this one. I think I'm gonna do this a little bit different. So let's get it on its own thing first. Uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sample out the background here. Is that right? That looks like the pattern and then it just repeats there. So we'll just copy this and make it its own thing. And then we can just repeat that pattern across the stage. So, train, night, sky. Yep. Okay, and now that we have that, we can just take the sun here, and I guess the pattern kind of ends right here. pretty much comes up to about here, and that's about it, and that's where the pattern really diverges. Yeah, nice. I, I like the tight, the tight tiling here is really good. That's a good way to do it. Very concise. Okay. And... What do we got here? Where's pink? Thing. I'm blind. Here we are. Train, night, sun. Spell it right. Okay, we're done with that part. Now we need sun reflection.
Midnight Sun Reflection. Pop those out since we've got those. The tree is its own thing up here, so. Getting the hang of this. Train night tree. Okay, and then let's turn off the fence. We already got those sprites there. The left and right cars. I guess those should just be easy enough to get their own thing. Train night right car. Looks like an engine, I guess, or well, no, it could it could be a storage car too, I guess. But of course, this one's a logging car. Train night left car. Okay, and then the four here. I think I'm going to group that as just one thing. Um, convert it to a smart object, then I'll rosterize it, and we'll... Yeah, that's what I want. So, then we'll export this as it's just as is. Train night floor. It is a storage car. You're right. I just don't want to do Twilight. Um, part of the reason is in in the games they're actually like called day and night. So it's just a nice. If I name them all night and all day consistently, then I can find them easily. So it's a good way to do it. Um, all right. So we'll close that. Go here. Uh, I guess we'll stop playing. Uh, let's see. Let's close the fighter tab here. Actually, we're making a new stage. So let's see. Do I have a day and night? I don't. So this one's gonna be day. all that in there and we'll do night so let's load this one here and we're just gonna use that as a reference so create a new scene um, I'm just gonna test for a second I don't, I don't remember what the convention is here Alright, just gonna do this. So. Okay, we'll drag this over here. We don't want a camera because the camera is provided by the flight seat. We do want a background controller, so. Uh, no, here. There. Uh, and this, this is what actually controls the shadow color, too. So here's this here. Camera name, camera and hard. Screen shake. There's the sound effect for the train loop. Okay. Alright, then we're just gonna start adding stuff in here. Okay, we've got all our nighttime fun things here. First of all, they're all going to be 10 pixels per unit. Some are going to be single, so I'm not going to mess that with that one. 
Uh, no physics, no filtering, and no compression. So the things that are going to need multiple things here. Uh oh. What's that? Alright, looks like the audio is still working. I get paranoid when I hear that noise. I think the controller just desynced. Timed out. Okay, there's the fence. Uh, I get to tell it multiple. Apply, and now. Wait, hold up. What's the difference between frame on the top and the frame on the right? Are they the same? Because they look the same. Oh no, they're slightly different. This one's got more shading for some reason. The oh, the height is different. You're right. Okay, I'm dumb. <laughs> I can't believe it. Alright, uh, let's see. Bottom left. Bottom left. Uh, bottom left. Bottom left. Okay. So we've got those sprites all snipped up. Uh, the right car, left car. This one here. I don't think I need to do anything. Because it's already, yeah, I'm just, I'm going to give it a bottom center. Uh, the tree. Let's take this and we'll put it here. Yeah, I don't know. The ocean. Okay, this one's definitely a multiple. Alright, and these are gonna be... I guess they'll be bottom left. Probably make it easier to do them. Bottom left. Bottom left. And again. And one more. Oh, okay. Uh, alright, yeah, yeah, let me grab that real quick. I'll fix it up. I can fix it! Isn't that what Bob the Builder says or something? Oh shit, not that one. Uh, okay, so... I'm assuming you're talking about these pixels here. And then, uh, I think that's it, right? Yeah, that looks right. Okay, save. Yeah, okay, got it. Okay, then we'll open this up here place and it should be good. Confirm it. Yep, that's right. Okay, so now the sun. Um, I'm assuming that this isn't even... No, it's 31 pixels? Really? Really? I guess so. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll just... Put it right here, that's fine. Doesn't matter. We'll just align it to what it needs to be anyway, based on the, the sky pattern. And then this one, I assume, is 35 pixels. Okay, so it's still, it's still off. It's still an oddball number. So, normalized pixels, and I think we favored the left side on the last one. We'll make that consistent. It should be good for that. Um, let's see. Make I want to make this set as active scene and then unload that scene. Okay. And let's load our mock camera. So we've got a good. 
There we go. Uh, actually, it's a little high. This should be 4.5, I think. Four. And refresh. I think that's right. Yeah, so the blue here, the white here is the floor. The blue here is the visible area, and the, the dark blue is the physical camera, which is this white box here, its parameters. So that looks right. We'll take the cameras in the right position. Alright, save it and create an empty, and we'll say this is the floor. Sprite renderer, zero, zero, zero. Train, light, four. Um, wait, did we get this one? No, nope, I said we bought it. There we go. It's a little better. Okay, and this has got to line up with the, the light blue here, so pull it down. It's negative one. Got it. And that looks right. Do you see the four line here? Looks like where they should be. Move this back a little so you can see more of it. There. Okay. Okay. That's that. Left car. Capitalize correctly, it'd be great. Of course I closed it. Uh, okay, so something like that. Got it. Oh wow, that's really far down too. Hmm. So it looks like this pixel line lines up right about there. bottom left, and then the right card should be bottom right. Okay, hold on, I want to adjust this one just a little bit. Or, well, completely, apparently. And that's about that. So negative 22. And we'll copy this one. This will be the right car. And it's a positive 22. With the right car. And we'll take a look. Just make sure that that's about right. And that looks about right. Cool. Alright, those will have to move, but we'll, we'll think about that in a minute. Like they might move, like forward and back from where they are. You can't see them both on the same screen, so we don't have to do any kind of weird asynchronous or randomization. Might, might just be able to get away rendering, or um, not rendering, but animating them with an animator. Uh, okay, and so... Let's do the sky first. Try to get all the easy ones down. Okay. Hmm. No, 
now. Hold up just a minute. I need to make this easier on myself. This should be able to allow this to repeat, and this will be the absolute bottom. And let's see how that works. Yeah, that might be better. Okay. And then, so if we make it, um... If we make it a... Tiled. Or sliced. No tile, it's got to be tiled, I believe. Yeah, and then so that now, it stretches just the top portion. So we can make that size we need to in order to get out of there. And then so if we do the width here, it should be tiled as well. And we can make it as big as we need to, basically. It shouldn't need any more than that. So 44, that's about right. Yeah. I know right now it might not be the moment, but can you send me the stage grid template again? I've got the, an idea for something brand new. Cool, yeah, I'll get that to you after the stream. I still do have it. Oh shit, I moved it. Uh, I guess I'll do the ocean next. Um, I'm actually gonna, oh, that's not what I want. 4.5. Um, I'm actually gonna move. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Actually, I should just drag it out of the way. Because I'm not sure 100% how big this ocean thing's gonna be. All right, uh, save for good measure. So this one's gonna be a little, this one's gonna be a little weird. Uh, oh shit, I forgot. Uh, I have not been setting. The, uh, the layers here. Stage back. So this one, this one's a medium. Interesting. Ocean layer one out of like six. Parallax layer controller. negative nine. Ocean zero. Okay. Tile. Uh, let's, let's align the layer first so we know what we're doing with here. Or know what we're working with here. Right? 22. And then, so now that it is that, okay, it's 1.6 times, I don't know, 10, 20, 30. Six times 
29. Okay, that's it, 29. And then we're gonna copy that and do that for each of them. Oh, let's see. Camera anchor is gonna be center left. Yeah, center left. And yeah, that was gonna say it's gonna be Oh yeah, time controller. We want let's see, background delta time for this time. Why do I need time controller? Oh right, because time stopping. Right, 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 right. Um at background delta time, sure. No reason to use fixed time for that. Okay, then we need auto scrolling. I don't know, we're just gonna say 10. Uh, and it's gonna loop 1.6. Why is it all messed up now? What happened? I, I turned loop on. Now it's. Now it's not happening. That's weird. Why did it do that now? Oh, I know why it did that. Yeah, because it's it's gonna show it in real time here. Uh hmm. That's true, I may not need it as big as I thought I did. Alright, hold on. Let's let's redo this. 1.6 times 20, 10, 18, 17, good enough. But I do need, I do need um, this to be set. All right, now I think it'll, yeah, okay, now you can see it going. It's moving right, or correctly, I should say. All right, we'll try it with one, and we'll see how it works. I might have to change this whole factor a little bit to make it look right, but. That should be okay. Okay, and then literally we should just be able to copy these. And all we should have to do is one, change this from ocean zero to one, and then just change the offset point. Um, negative, what sort of point? Is it four? I bet it's four, right? Yeah, they're four tall. Are they all four tall? Looks like it. Okay. And I actually think I have these backwards, so this is gonna be four there. And then Yeah, I did these backwards. Alright, well, dummy me is gonna have to redo these at the end, I think. The offsets. Um in fact, just let me up this way. Negative three. How far away is that? Up here. Where's our example? Uh, just tell me the size of it. Oh, well. Okay. Twenty-five from the bottom here. No, 20... 24. Hey! Captain Slug. I like that name. 
Captain Slug. Well, welcome, Captain. Okay, so if this is lined up here, that's two. And then we want to plus 2.4. Oh, sorry, minus. Minus 2.4. Okay, that should give us the correct thing here. And then. Okay, that's that. And then here is gonna be zero. And this one's gonna be actually right where it needs to be. Thing. That looks too high. I don't trust it. Why is that? Ah, whatever. We'll test it later. Okay. Ocean two. Four. Minus 0.4? No, sorry, plus. Plus. I think I'm gonna have to change. This should be. This should be a negative number to go down. I'll have to change that up. In the code, I, I probably subtracted it like an idiot instead of adding it. Or negated it before I added it. Also, an idiot. Plus 0.4. Oh, this is gonna look wild. Man, there's so many layers. Is this just... Okay, this is just blank. There's no actual texture to it. Whatever. I'll just leave it as is, I guess. Plus 0 0.4. Oh yeah, it did line up right. Sort of. It doesn't, it doesn't look like that here, though. It does it. No, it's off a little bit. So two pixels from the last texture. Okay, yeah, all these gotta go down. In fact, this layer is not even visible, to be honest. Let's turn it off for now. So this ends up being flush with that. So, 2.1 minus 0.4. It's 1.7. 1.7 minus 0.4. Point three minus zero point four. Zero point nine minus zero point four. And that's point five. So zero point five. Which actually is point one. I don't need to. I don't need to let you do that one. Well, let's make sure these are right. Looks right. Okay, there's our thing, so. Uh, Alright, so we do need to make them different. Different amounts of movement here. Okay, yeah, that's what I expected. The ones in the back should move the least. Two, four, six, zero point eight, and one. Something like that. Wow, that's trippy. I might have to adjust that. That's that's real trippy. <laughs> Holy shit. 
looks kind of cool, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that how that works. All right, so now let's let's bring down the sky to meet it. Four point eight. Cool. Save it. Love of God, save it. Okay, now the sun. Background, and it'll be negative eight. Does need a flicker controller. Uh, do the transparent. Let's make its own flicker thing. If it ends up being 1 1. Oh! That's Amber, I think. It's okay. She's gonna need to go out. Yep. See, I got my security system now. Doggo. Doggo brand security. Alright. Um, oh, yeah, let's make it flicker. Set. So, train, lights, sun. They're gonna, they're gonna need to stay with the camera. So actually, uh, let's collapse these. Hmm? What's that? Oh. I, I don't know if she just wants to bark at chickens or, or if she actually has to go to the bathroom or something. Uh, maybe an hour and a half before I started, so I don't think she needs to go, but maybe? I don't know. Just in case. She started barking after I started, so didn't have much of a chance to do much. <laughs> yeah, doggo protection. <laughs> Alright. The sun in the sky and all that's going to go under the sky layer, and that's going to have to have a parallax layer. Um, not because it needs to move, but because it doesn't need to move. <laughs> or it does need to move, depending on how you want to think about it. Um, so this is going to be... I don't know, 
top left center. It can be center, center, I guess. And then, uh, I'm gonna have to make the actual thing move with it to the sky itself, so it does have to be that big. I mean, you could loop the sky behind it, but it can't desync the dithering here. The checkerboarding can't desync from the sun, so I gotta move the whole thing as its own wire. Yeah, let's do center. And we'll reconverge it back in. Four point four five five. Yeah, okay. It shouldn't need a time controller because there's nothing on it that needs to auto scroll. We can do like a 0 0.1 or 2 maybe, let's see what that looks like. And then yeah, then it like it it goes, it doesn't follow the camera 100% so it's a little off on the sides, that should look nice. So let's save that. And let's actually look to see what this looks like. Let me load the fight scene. And we'll set this to active. And we'll unload that one. Oh, and I need to make a I need to make actually a stage. So let's take that stage and Stages, stages, stage, stage table, here we go. Uh, train, train. Nice. Uh, I really don't have a different thing for it. Uh, just put the EX on it, it's fine. Just so we know which one it is between the two. Okay, and let's we have to load this again. Then we have to go here to build settings and say add open scenes. And then now it's there on the bottom. Otherwise it'll be like, uh, I don't know what this is. Because you can have scenes that aren't for the game but for testing, and then you don't include them on your build sheet here, and then they won't, you don't risk putting them in the game. It's actually pretty cool. Okay, so it's gonna be whatever stage we're on last, and then we'll change it. Okay, yeah, it's this one. Oh, baby, what do we got? Hey! Okay, the water doesn't look like it's working right. Or it might be. Oh, kind of? Kind of oh, you know why? Because they're all scrolling at the same speed. We got a... Okay, we got a couple things to adjust here. Yeah, we got a few things to adjust. It looks cool already, though. Uh, let's get rid of that. There. Okay, they're all scrolling at the same speed on the auto-scrolling, but they're camera-scrolling differently. So we've got to... Man, I don't know how fast this should really go. The one in the back's gotta be slower, which I think it actually is. 
and then they'll kind of scale up from there. I think I think the water should remain locked, and so the whole scene should just remain locked vertically. So we can do that too. That's easy enough. Okay, so ocean. We have to change. These have to be one in order to remain locked vertically. And then the sky layer is also going to be one. I think that should fix that. Let's see if that's true. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, uh, something messed up. Oh, you know why I didn't have my mock camera on? Yeah, everything got shifted down now, of course. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Right. Um, let's make sure... Oh, they're not moving at all. Yeah, that's what we want. That's absolutely what we want. Okay. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm not sure where that's supposed to go yet, so we're just gonna... And do it like this. Uh, where, where is, where is my thing here? How come I ain't seeing my thing? Where are you? Where is this layer? What the fuck are you? You invisible? Why are you invisible? Why is this layer invisible? I don't see anything. Why is it not visible? Alright, whatever. We're not using layer 7 anyway. I'm just getting rid of it. It's being a pain in the ass. Okay. And now the sky is going to come in there, which, yeah, it's actually just zero. Okay, let's save that now and see what we get. And let's maximize it automatically. Okay, so we'll get the scrolling in a minute, but at least we've got the... Got the ocean at least. And the background. That looks really cool with the sun like that. The stage is looking great. Um, let's see. Make sure. Yeah, we got the car there. And the car there. Oh, yeah, this is looking good. I like just the, the sunset palette and everything. It's super cool. Okay. Next step then. Uh, let's get... Actually, you know what? We want to watch this in motion, so... Let's, um... Let's just watch this, and then fiddle with it, and then we'll mark down the, the numbers that we need. Okay, so layer one... Is the top one. You say that should be really slow. So.
like really slow. So we'll do that. I don't know how fast it's supposed to be, to be honest. The two front layers look too fast. Okay. I can angle them. A little differently. So, two, let's see, three, six, eight. get a little too fast when you move, but uh, we'll adjust that in a second. Still need to be a bit slower. Okay. really cool. We'll change their speed like when the camera actually moves or they, they change speed a little weirdly. We will change that. I like where it's really, really too fast there. You think that's good? And then we'll move on to the, the camera scroll speed influencing. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. Um, I think if I make them... Yeah, if I make them 1-1, one, one, it should be static. Sometimes it looks a little odd, so you have to add just a little bit of movement, but we'll take a look and see what it looks like at 1-1. One, one. Oh, god, that's... no, that's not right. Maybe it's gotta be 0. <laughs> Let's try 0. I think one captures it with it. No, that looks weird too. Hmm. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Huh. Hello. Did you go pee pee? You got a pee pee and a pee pee report. Oh boy. Oh, she got a concrete. She's a massive. Oh, good. She ran around for five minutes and took a gigantic three-part shit in grass by the end. <laughs> There's your update, Daddy. Yeah, I guess she had to go. All right. Uh, let's see. Wait, so zero didn't work. But one doesn't work either? All right, one looks weird, too. I might have to cas cascade these. Okay, let's just do the back one. Uh, hold on. Just for the heck of it, if we turn them all to zero, turn them all to one, let's just do it. Okay. That's a non-movement. 
so one doesn't move. And zero moves with the camera, which we don't want. So we want one, but that doesn't look quite right because we've got movement automatic here. Let's look at it behind the scenes here. Yeah, this is, it is actually not moving. It's just because the camera's moving with it, it looks weird. Um, so we're gonna have to fine tune this. But as you can see, it's actually not it's actually not moving any faster or slower with the camera. You can tell by the way it's moving just as is. But because the camera's moving along with it, it looks like it's going faster and slower. So... Mm, there's got to be a way to counteract that. Okay, before we do that... Let's record some values here. So... Layer 1... Yeah, uh, let's see... Auto is X. Auto Y... I think it's a zero. Factor X Factor Y and I believe they're all one for that. And then we're gonna change the X here. And so we need six of these to Five, I can't count, so there. there. Save that just in case something happens. Okay, and now we need to go through them one by one. I'm just gonna move the second monitor to make it easier for myself here. So, auto scroll is 0.5. On the X, uh, one, no, all scroll one. Yeah, all right, I guess so. Three, it's two. Okay, looks like I just doubled them from here. I know so three, five. See what four and five look like. Does that looks any better. Actually, it kind of does. I will go with that four and five. Cut that now. Save those. Make sure that actually got all the values we need. Okay, that's fine. All right, now we need to apply them. I saved them because they won't save from the runtime. So this one's zero point five. Survey says that's what it is.
<laughs> yeah, definitely. I have tried making the shadows blink, but they were so... Like, they stood out so much, they became very annoying and very distracting. So I went with a, uh, a solid color. So I basically copied what Alpha 2 does. What you notice. Isn't the water supposed to scroll to the other side? I don't know what you mean. What do you mean? Oh, from right to left. Son of a bitch. You're right, train's going backwards. I guess if the train is going from, yeah, if the train's moving right, then son of a bitch. Ah, that's easy fix. We just need Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Water's going the right way now. Okay, we're going. <laughs> oh no! Okay, the water is going the right way now. All right, let me let me make those changes for real, because that was the run mode, so it didn't uh, it didn't, didn't won't save them. It's it's good because in run mode you can mess with stuff to experiment, and then it will just revert once you hit stop again. So yeah, good catch though, good catch. If you only knew how good my impression of Joseph Josar's voice is. Well, you've got to record it now. You can't say that and not deliver. <laughs> That's why you have a secret when they're not going to tell them. Yeah. Okay, so the, the problem here now is the scrolling speed of the water while the camera is moving technically is not actually moving um, but because of the way the camera works it looks like it's moving faster um, it's yeah because it's so far away that it shouldn't be moving like quite like that so I totally get I totally get what's going on here um, all right let's see how is this supposed to work then? It's got to travel with it. So... To some degree. So let's see, we said that... The scroll factor of one? Okay, so scroll factors are... Yeah, alright, that's what they are now. Let's see... If they're one? What does that look like? Yeah, so because they're far away, they can't be connected. They can't look like they're connected to the train. They have to they have to scroll a bit. So let's say like zero point let's see what zero point five looks like. Bad. Still not quite right though. Yeah, bees in my hair, yeah. Bees, them bees, them bees. Hold on. What if it's two? Uh, that's way too fast. 
but zero isn't right either. What if it's negative? Negative one? Oh, that's weird. Oh, that god, that's weird. Oh god, that's super weird. Uh, fuck. I really don't know. I didn't really ever think about something like this. I'm not sure how to calibrate it. Yeah, it's got the sunset. Mm. I'm not sure how to think about this. So clearly, zero is not right. Um, what does one look like from left to right? Okay. What if we do like a declining scale here? 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, and 0? Uh, still don't look right. Man, I don't, fuck, I don't have no idea how to calibrate this. So to get what we, what we want it to look like. Because, like, this is literally what it would be, like, looking at it this way, but it doesn't look right with the camera. Man, I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of it the wrong way. Yeah. I'm just doing combos out of frustration. Being frustrated is not getting me anywhere. Ah, oh, man, it just doesn't look right. Once you start moving, it's just, it just gets weird. It's gotta be something that, I guess, counteracts the auto-scrolling on some level. No. Alright. Just one of them for now. And back. Let's concentrate just on like these two here. how to math. I'm not sure what's the correct way to think about it here. Scrolls. 
I'll try 0 0.8 on our one. Uh, actually, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Huh. Okay, the back ones are back ones are too much, but um, the 0 0.8 kind of works. Yeah, 0 0.8 works with foreground stuff, but we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna have to increase it. So eight five nine and one maybe uh totally not I think it has to go backwards seven zero point five zero point three. 0 0.1, maybe? Hmm. And the splits of sky. Sky's gonna be 1, right? No, sky's 0 0.2. Hmm. So this should be 0 0.3. Or... Still looks speedy when moving forward, but I don't know, I guess it would be? I don't know, man. I tried, I tried doing the... The difference and that didn't work out it looks good going backwards just doesn't look good going forwards now Wondering if maybe it's not going to work the way that it's coded. Hmm. I'm trying to think of like how it works on the back end. kind of problem is is that it's kind of juxtaposed between the static background here and the, this layer here so the movement between like the barrel and here adds to your perception of the speed I think is part of the problem here Well, it's three, four, five, six. 
Oh, uh, that's okay, I guess. That's not bad. I know. And the backwards move, it's a little odd now, but... Yeah, that's actually not bad. That actually looks pretty good. I, I mean, I guess you're gonna get some different movement because, you know, you're moving different speeds. The train's moving. So it's gonna affect, you know, how it's viewed from different sides. I mean, I guess that makes sense. There's no backwards and frontwards correction. It's a correction based on relativity of the camera. So the factor here, scroll factor, is determined by the X and Y of the camera. So you see how the you see how the layers here actually work when you look on the, the margin here. And when you move, it adds to that scrolling value. Whatever the ratio between the speed and correction is should linearly go to zero for no speed. Well, I mean, I, I think I'd already tried that, and that didn't really pan out. And if you want to put like negative five here, I don't think that's gonna. Maybe. No, it's going fucking nuts. If I do five, then it's again going fucking nuts, I think. So if I put four here. Yeah, it just goes fucking nuts. Uh oh, we're out of time. Yeah, it just goes fucking nuts, so you can't do that. I guess we'll just have to leave it at that. Maybe we can pick it up next week, or I'll try to figure out something in the meantime. Uh, to make the sky technically stationary, it's one. Or it would be, I guess, 0 0.2 in order to line up with the actual sky in the background. But then you, you get kind of this thing. And you get this kind of effect. Where it kind of speeds up as you move backwards. So I mean then you could say, well what about a negative 0 0.2? And you know, that would be really weird, apparently. Then 0 0.8 is the, the opposite of that, which is somewhere really strange. I don't know. We tried that, so... 0 0.2 divided by 6. Okay. So that 
times two times three times four times five and times six. And how does that behave? Eh. Don't know. I don't know. It's still whack. And that's super whack. Zero is whack too. Hello, doggy. And one's whack too. I don't fucking know, man. I have no idea. No idea. Alright, so we're pretty much out of time then. Uh. Okay, so let's see. Uh, hold on just a this one. Okay. This uh, stream is sponsored by beautiful and wonderful patrons who, for whatever reason, want to uh, support me, and I'm super happy and super grateful. And so our top patrons are Zombie Kill, Jerry Berry. Javier Garcia, AJ, and Bryce Nagueno. And uh, so if you two want to be a patron, you can check that link down below. And we've also got Discord where you can yell at me in real time and uh, that kind of stuff. So I got to get out of here, scrub out, and I will see you guys next Monday, uh, which is the 15th, the 15th, July 15th. Otherwise, we're going to do a Retro Mansion game stream on the 11th. Uh, that's on Thursday, so 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on all that. And that's pretty much it. So scrub out, have a good one, and I'll see you guys next time.